Alright, what's going on guys? I just want to make another video for you here um, about my fitness journey. So starting out about four years ago now, I'd say I started um, powerlifting. Um, and now I'm kind of switching from powerlifting over to bodybuilding, a little bit more cardio, different types of workouts. And I just wanted to go over why I switched from powerlifting and why I'm doing what I'm doing now. I'm also a certified personal trainer, so if you guys have any questions, you can let me know. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to get kind of get into it and let you know. Um, where I went for my fitness journey and to where I'm going. Uh, so I started out as a powerlifter again about four years ago. And one of the reasons I'm quitting powerlifting, I'm going to kind of go over that first. Um, reasons I maybe like powerlifting and then um, bodybuilding and what I'm doing with that now. Um, so powerlifting, as much as it's fun to lift as heavy as weight as possible and have a lot of power with each of your lifts, um, powerlifting is really bad for your joints. I mean, it does strengthen your tendons, the ligaments, and things like that. But it strengthens them and it also wears them down over time. It'll wear down your joints over time. If you see a lot of older powerlifters, you're going to see that they have joint problems, shoulder problems, elbow problems, and they start to wrap themselves up with different things while they lift so they can keep doing what they're doing, which kind of stops the problem from progressing faster, but it doesn't necessarily help you at all. And I want to prevent injuries into my older age. I like to be um, 40, 50, 60 and still be able to lift without a bunch of joint problems. Um, I mean, it's not good, um, not, powerlifting now, it's not necessarily good for cardio. Depending on the person though, you might do a lot of cardio and be a powerlifter. Now, I know most of the people that I've seen in the gym, they do powerlifting, that's all they're doing. They just like hitting their heavy lifts, their bench, deadlift, and squat. Um, you know, when you're in the gym for a half an hour and you're just doing three sets of three or a few heavy um, lifts, you're not getting a lot of cardio, you're getting a lot of power and strength out of that. You're strengthening your muscles, but um, it's not as necessary as good for your heart and things like that. So I'm kind of switching away from it because it's not as overall healthy for your body. Um, I've gotten a few injuries from powerlifting in the past four years. Um, the worst one is in my shoulder. I got some um, bursitis. So I've kind of been working with that, trying to get it as good as possible. Um, but I don't bench much anymore, at least with a barbell. We'll do some close grip, we'll do some dumbbell stuff, but it's lighter, it's with more volume. Um, now, and I just don't want to end up having more problems like that going into the future, again, getting older. I want to work on my overall health and not necessarily just trying to lift as heavy weight as possible. I don't think that's as healthy for um, people to do. Um, as far as powerlifting, where I started, so four years ago, you guys, when I started powerlifting, I was super into it. I had my bench was about three, you know, my squat was 365, my bench press was 225, and my deadlift was 420 pounds. Then in my last meet that I went to um, this past summer, I had a 440 squat, a 330 bench, and a 523 deadlift. And now as fun as that was to do um, those lifts, I ended up getting some of those shoulder problems from that meet. And that's kind of the time when I decided, I'm like, I don't really want to get any more injuries at all. I mean, not that you can't get injuries with a bodybuilding type workout, but powerlifting, I just think it's a matter of when you're going to get those injuries and not if you're going to get those injuries. So I want to just prevent them as much as possible. Um, why is cardio important? So one thing I wanted to talk about, I just have some notes written down here. Um, cardio is good for improving your blood circulation, which if you're lifting, if you're doing anything, you want to always breathe through your workouts. You always need really good blood circulation. Um, if you know about lifting, you always want to have that good circulation in your bodybuilding, you're getting that pump in your arms that's just pumping more blood in, stretching out that muscle, really working to grow yourself, bringing more nutrients into your muscle. So um, cardio improves your circulation. So even if you want to power lift, make sure you do get in your cardio. Um, cardio speeds up your metabolism. It helps um, control your blood pressure, different things like that. Um, so it's always good to get in some cardio. So my, I'm kind of going from power lifting what I'm not doing anymore. Um, to cardio, why that's healthy for you. Now I want to tell you, I saw some reasons that I do more cardio now. Now what my um, current routine is, I lift four times a week and I do two days a week of cardio and I give myself about one day off to rest and recover, which is another thing I never did. I know a lot of kind of meatheads in the gym, people that lift, they want to do every single day of the week. Um, over time, that can take a toll on you. And if you don't let your body fully recover, you'll never be at your peak performance. So I just want to say to you people that are out there, Lifting every day, especially younger kids that might watch this, give yourself a day off, give yourself that little bit of time to recover, that extra sleep. It's going to help you a lot more in the long run and prevent injuries. Um, 
So again, now I do four times a week of um, lifting, more bodybuilding type lifting. I still do a split, shoulders, arms, and then a back day, leg day, and a chest day, and then two days of cardio. Um, so my goals have changed. This is one of the reasons I've also stopped. I want to look good. I don't necessarily just want to be as strong as possible. So I'm looking for that hypertrophy, I want to build bigger muscle. I don't just want to build stronger muscle, so I'm going into more volume with my movements, at least 12 reps for each of my movements instead of um, just trying to lift heavier with one rep. Um, I want to um, do, also along I guess with that, building more muscle is going to up your metabolism. The more muscle you have, the faster you're going to burn calories, the more um, higher your metabolism is going to be running processes in your body. So I would also like, to have faster metabolism, that also means you need to eat more in your body is a little bit more functional. Um, I want to be more athletic, which is another thing I want to do. Excuse me, you guys. But um, two times a week doing that um, cardio with different movements, um, you know, box jumps, different things like that. I'm going to get a lot more athletic. I'm going to look a little bit better instead of being a little bit slower with that powerlifting movements. And just being able to do a bench deadlift or a squat isn't all I want to do anymore. I also want to be functional with um, many movements, so that's why I'm kind of switching up my routine as well. I want to lower my body fat in bodybuilding movements. I'm, I've noticed I've done an in-body before, I've done in-body after I've started this, more of a bodybuilding type workout with more cardio. I've shredded down a little bit, I've lost a few percent of the body fat. Now one thing I want to do is a video journey with you guys um, of me dropping a few percents of body fat on camera, what I'm eating and stuff. If you're interested in that, just give the video a thumbs up. Um, but I'll go on, that's a, again another video. Also during workouts, it is really satisfying to lift heavy. Um, but it's also satisfying to get a really good pump. So I like um, doing bodybuilding, do those sets of 12. You can really feel your muscle. You can slow, keep the movement slow and controlled. Feel that muscle contracting. Feel that muscle mind connection a little bit better. And you can get a better pump and you can look better and make me feel good after my workout. It's another reason I'm kind of switching over to a bodybuilding format of workout rather than a powerlifting. Um, and I want bigger muscles, not stronger muscles. So. Again, I do want to be strong, but I'm looking to kind of grow my muscles and get that aesthetic look rather than just getting as strong as possible. Now, now I still love powerlifting. It's an awesome sport. I love to go watch it. I have friends that do it. Um, I really support it. I think it's good for you if you keep the good form, the, your best form possible when you're doing it. Give yourself days off. If you're not trying to PR all the time. There is a right way to do it. It's just not the way I want to work out anymore, and it's not... Um, me hitting the same goals that I'm looking for. I'm not looking to get as strong as possible and I don't just want to bench, deadlift, and squat anymore. I want to focus on some other areas of fitness. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. If you have any, um, obviously, comments for me also, just for me, not questions, leave them there too. Um, I'd like you guys to subscribe to my channel if you could. I'm going to be doing more videos, um, uh, some comedy videos, more fitness videos, probably fitness tutorial videos. Um, different things like that, some podcast vlog type stuff. So if you guys like it, again, leave a thumbs up. Thank you. And thanks for watching Carter Sleep Training uh, YouTube.